got what here's what we've got going. We've already passed our primary, which is right here. PAPG1. Next is PAPGD, which is supposed to be at 2,800 feet. I believe I have an overfly for that. I'll have to look at the flight plan that uh, I designed. And then we're coming down with an additional waypoint right there, PAPG-8, which uh, I added to better align us with the runway as we come down. Uh, 10.4 miles. Apparently these are the real weather conditions. Uh, we're using Opus FSX. This is Orbix, Alaska, Southeast. get off and got one of those aircraft cleaners stuck aboard so we can put him to work. Let me know if you need me to lift my feet. Okay, we're down to 3,800. 3,800 I should say. ATC lingo. Instead of 3,800. All right, so where we're gonna go, I'm gonna try to place my head. You see where the, uh, the, the tip, right hand tip of the windshield wiper is? I'm gonna place my head so that I can point out where I think we're gonna be turning, right about there. Good to go, landing lights. Three green. Uh, let's change this to auto brake three. Thirty degrees laps. Let's check this page out real quick and see that we got. Uh, Approach set. 30 degrees flaps, 147. Okay. I got 151 actually. I think I've got that program in. Yeah, I did. 151. Anyway, okay, so we can see that. Go there. And we do have our V-Ref set in here. And so let's just follow it down. Keeping in mind, this is another trial. One mile from PAPGD and our turn inbound. Oh, here we go. A little bit late on that. Talking about being behind the aircraft. All right, we still have VNAV and LNAV. We lost VNAV for some reason the last time in. Terrain, terrain, pull up. Now what I did was I actually started backwards, and I maintained a three-degree Vassy light 
indication as I backed out of this, uh, what you call it, valley? So theoretically, PA, PG, all of them from D to PADG1, PAPG, D1, E, and 8 are all backed out and found to be on the slope. So we should, the second we turned inbound, that's the reason we set for 28 April. So that was the three degree slope inbound. What we're trying to figure out now is how accurate is my last waypoint, PAPG8. It's supposed to be the last three degree inbound waypoint. Now you can see we're a little bit high right now. Actually we're about 500 feet high. Let's check this. This is uh, research. 1.5 miles from D1 and we're supposed to be at 1400 feet. We're at 17. A little high. So zoom in here. Okay. Now I think we're turning a little bit soon, but we had to avoid this hill right here. So I'm a little bit worried about this edge. But we are about coming in right there. We're still a little bit on the high side. Terrain, terrain, pull up. Pull flaps. Alright, I'm getting rid of this. And I'm getting rid of this puppy. And uh, I'm not going to... Now see, that here's our 8. Here's our waypoint 8. We're still a little bit high. But now we're on a slope, aren't we? Cool beans. And I believe that's as far as it's going to turn. Well, I'm wrong. It's coming in. Coming in. 500. Oh, not quite. I'm taking an awful lot of pilot. Well, that's real close, isn't it? Now, the time that I took to come with my finger off the autopilot button to keep it from squawking, I drifted left. Right, Sink rate. Let's, let's see how we're doing here. 50. 30. 20. 10. be able to get down. I'm not. That's it. Oh. Wait, wait. Stop. Yeah. I think there's something to be learned from taking a look at the instant replay of that puppy. So, uh, let's do that. Let's call it 90. almost like we're in the jumper seat. I don't know why we can't get uh, the camera views on replay, but we can. Alright. I'm floating, it looks like.
I don't even want to look at the landing report, but jeez. That's just too ugly to look at. Let's go ahead and bite the bullet. And uh, that's where he ended up. And let's see. Let's, you know. Oh. I was a tenth of a meter away from the center line. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. 903 meters. That's a very short uh, runway. Uh, well, we got down, didn't we? All right, so there's that.